Hello everybody, this is it. After much build up, many videos about advanced math topics like the gamma function and the digamma function and the lowercase gamma constant, we finally reach this limit. The limit as x goes to zero of x factorial plus alpha x minus one divided by x squared and uh these the, the should be alphas. I thought I was going to write it out, but uh, I decided just to include a screenshot of the problem. So this is a limit uh, that I found on brilliant.org, and uh, I will include a link to it in the description. But it states that if this limit exists, find this number alpha. So, if we were to plug in 0 into this limit, 0 factorial is 1, alpha times 0 is 0, and minus 1 we get 0, and then 0 squared is 0. So we get a 0 over 0 limit, which makes us want to do La Patel. But we have factorial here, and we don't really know how to take the derivative of a factorial normally. However, if we replace x factorial with the gamma of x plus 1, then things get more interesting. Um, so now if we were to use La Patel, we would get the derivative of the gamma function at x plus 1 plus alpha divided by 2x. And as x goes to 0, the denominator goes to 0. And we are given that the limit exists. So the limit will only exist if the denominator is equal to 0. And that is that the derivative of gamma evaluated at 1 plus alpha is equal to 0. But in the last video, where I talked about the digamma function and the series representation of the digamma function, we trivially plugged in uh, 0, and we got that, we, we ended up finding that um, the derivative of the gamma function at 1 is equal to negative gamma, or negative euler mascheroni constant, which means that uh, alpha is just equal to the euler mascheroni constant, or 0, 0 0.577. So I definitely overhyped this video, but I mean, if you're faced with this without having any experience with the gamma function or the digamma function or the euler mascheroni constant, and you're thinking, how the heck can I take the derivative of x plus 1? And once you do, once you realize that you can sub in gamma, most people aren't familiar with how to take the deriv derivative of the gamma function. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this series on the gamma function, and um, I will see you in my other videos. Thank you.